Doctor, I have a dialysis fistula in my arm, but I get intense pain during dialysis. And sometimes after dialysis, my arm, face and chest starts swelling up. This is often not normal fluid retention. Many times the reason is blockage of the neck veins called as central vein stenosis or central vein obstruction. A dialysis fistula increases blood flow from the arm towards the heart. If the neck veins or the chest veins are blocked, the blood cannot pass through and hence flows back, causing swelling of the arm. What are the causes of central vein blockage? Repeated catheter insertions in the neck or the groin leads to blockage of the veins. Also, these catheters are made of medical grade plastic, which scar the walls of the vein. And high blood flow from the fistula to the heart also damages the veins within. So what are the symptoms? Usually swelling and heaviness of the arm, puffiness of the face and eyelids, and prominent veins in the chest and pain, discomfort or prolonged bleeding during dialysis. What is the treatment? With interventional radiology, treatment is possible without surgery. First, we do a venogram to check where the blockage is. Then we cross the blockage, inflate a balloon, do an angioplasty and open up the vein. Sometimes we may have to place a stent for opening up the passage. After treatment, the swelling reduces almost immediately and the fistula starts working normally again. So if you notice the swelling of the arm, face or chest after dialysis, don't ignore it. It may be due to a blockage in your central veins. With timely diagnosis and interventional radiology treatment, this problem can be managed effectively. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.